Yo, what's up, guys? Today we're watching OKKO! OK and if you want to be our hero, get this video to 12,000 likes and we'll watch more of this show. And if you want to hear our full commentary and also vote on what we watch next, you can check out our Patreon. We're doing an exclusive reaction to Total Drama Revenge of the Island and Avatar right now. Subscribe. Because we ain't supposed to get help from our parents. Pfft. <laughs> Parent. Do we know who Ko's father is? Justin Trudeau. That's why Ko's got the evil personality within him because he's got the evil Canadian side to him that she doesn't want to know. Look out, crime! Here we go! Saber Spark? What? Cartoon Network probably wanted to name her Saber Spark, but they couldn't because Saber Spark already existed. These lockers are a testament to our roles in point. Is this like My Hero Academia, like superhero school? My Hero Academia was good. My Hero Academia superheroes, isn't it just called My Hero Academia or something? <laughs> we are heroes. <laughs> the grab of the shoulder says everything you need to know about him. Chat, if you're ever talking to a girl and you grab your shoulder, you've already lost, okay? Never grab your own arm. It shows weakness. It's not powerful to grab your own arm. Grab her arm instead and say, hello, honey. Rippy Roo. <laughs> Your unique powers will be a great asset to this team. I thought that was like a funny mascot character. I didn't know he was actually part of the team. Who invited this guy on the team? Every superhero team needs the cute animal mascot. This is the real deal. Why don't you stay here and uh, clean up or something? This is how KO felt whenever Guard disrespects him and then he went edgy mode. <laughs> you too? This episode's kind of boring, I'm not gonna lie. It's like the beauty because it's kind of like listening to your parents tell them a story from their past and it's like, I don't care. Stop talking. I want to go play Minecraft. There's a similar creature in volume 44 of Point's case files. Dude, no one cares your nerd emojiing right now. Fight the goddamn robot. She doesn't even have glasses. The kangaroo looks like it's got a huge b <laughs> It's gotta be the core. You thinking what I'm thinking? It's gotta be core from spilling the milk. I'll beat him up if you want. Considering this character is like this like stone rock creature, it kind of gives like core from Brawlhalla. <laughs> oh my, that's a Mermona flowers bag type shit. It's a whole galaxy in there. This kangaroo has like an entire universe in their pouch. He's awesome. Smash it. Can't keep my dick in my pants. My face when I see Ko's mom, bro. Like, <laughs> ride with me in the Powitzer and pick up pizzas for everyone. Is this just an alternate version of your last story? Oh my God, the senior hitting on the freshman right now. Holy shit. And that is how Point used the power of teamwork. Cyclops the dad? Well, she said specifically before she started the story, parent, right? <laughs> Parent. So maybe that is a hint as to the fact that this story is going to be related to KO's parent. Today's not every day. It's Father Parents Day. Parents Day. Yo, we see Rad's parents. Uh, Blur boots. Blur. <laughs> They look like the Jetsons. His dad's never done a bicep curl in his life. Rad will never talk to him again. She's a witch! Oh yeah, I totally forgot. Her family is like fucking the Adams family. Wait, look! Enid's mom is a hot vampire! Oh my god! Oh! <laughs> and her dad is a hot werewolf? You said your parents were busy ninjas, but they're just kissing and art ninjas. My family is embarrassing. They're just kissing and art ninjas. <laughs> welcome, welcome. Don't be shy. I mean this in the most respectful and nuanced way I could possibly say it. Enid has a beautiful mother and I would love to meet her one day. Oh my God, the way she's drawn, bro. I hope she murders KO in this episode and she becomes a new main character. Would there happen to be any bats in the belfry? <laughs> what a fucking troll. The facial expression is so good. Isn't that offensive to like Enid's culture? Like, do you guys have any bats upstairs? Uh, do you guys have any ghosts? Who are we gonna show all these photos to? Photos! The facial expressions in this episode are so good. Aww. Here she is dressed like a pizza for no reason. Oh, Pizza Jack! Oh my god! Pizza Enid! She's just like me for real. I love that's so cute. Hi. I think we ought to teach these bozos what's really 
funny. I like the idea that ghosts are just like annoying as fuck because that's what they would be if they were real. They're just every person who holds a grudge against someone, like the ultimate grudge, like they're staying around. Did you say ninja? He said ninja. We don't say that word around here, KO. We don't say the N word in this household. Enid, are you still at it with this ninja nonsense? Oh yeah, because we saw in her backstory she wanted to be Naruto. Yeah, she wanted to be Naruto, but her family is like a bunch of like Harry Potter heads. Her family watches Soul Eater, but she watches Naruto. <laughs> That's hard. <laughs> Let's drive recklessly. Yeah. Let's drive under the influence of alcohol. Try it at home, kids. Let's get KO addicted young. Did you know drunk drivers are the most oppressed class of American? <laughs> Oh my god, she has an inner furry, just like Naruto. Because she's half werewolf. Yeah, why does Enid look like that if her dad is half werewolf? Yeah, she probably has to shave very frequently. <laughs> Mom blurped up those ghosts like some tasty ramen. I'm not gonna lie, she was making those sounds and I was, um... What? <laughs> oh, we really had the wrong idea. We are just so darn ignorant. I love how non-subtle the fucking dialogue is. We are just so darn ignorant towards our child. Wow, we're every parent that ever exists in society. <laughs> oh, that's that's Voxman's lover. I know that guy from a mile away. People were so impressed with us by guessing the evil guy's identity immediately, but it's like, this shit is like the most obvious thing ever. He's clearly up to something creepy. And we need to find out what. Dude, why are they selling the Tony Tony Chopper backpack? Do you see that, Jack, on the shelf? They're trying to make bank. One Piece is so big, even in the KO universe. Sure thing, my beautiful baby boy. Have fun on the stakeout. The hair erection is crazy. Is that a euphemism? That hair erection was out of pocket. KO! We're here for a stakeout! Aww. <laughs> MF thinks he's in your camp. Ooh. No! The fire was still lit. He just lit the other half of the plaza on fire. Who is your favorite hero? <laughs> Who's your favorite employee? Kao feels like SpongeBob in this episode. He's kind of shaped like SpongeBob too. Kao's shaped like a child with daddy issues. I just don't have a big guy around to ask this stuff about. Oh my god. He needs a father figure. Well, I'm just a... I'm just not used to a little guy throwing so many questions at me. A little guy. He still called him a guy, though. Like, he still has respect for KO at the end of the day. You were in that superhero team point before. Why did you leave? No, the Cowboy Bebop sad backstory. The donuts. No. <laughs> Why did they always end on the sandwich? He got the worst subway ever. I'm leaving you in charge of watch duty. <gasps> Don't you move from this spot. Trust a Gen Z person to stay still for like all night. Pretend the thing you're watching is a giant iPad screen. Get back here, shadowy figure. <laughs> Blood thinks he's in the Mario movie. Ah, 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 ah. Wait, this is a Zelda shrine. Oh my God, we're playing Breath of the Wild. What the fuck? It's the water temple from Ocarina of Time. KO run, that level fucking sucks. <laughs> I could have never gotten through that pesky door without that power of yours. Is this evil villain just an evil game developer? I am a gamer. I think he's just an evil gay guy. Like he doesn't actually do anything. He's just gay and, and kind of rude about it. I don't get, like, what is evil that he's done so far? He turned KO evil. Maybe he's just a really bad, like, therapist, though. You know what I mean? Like, maybe he was genuinely trying to help, but he just did really bad last time. KO, you're so cute. You play hero so good. What? I don't like that. I don't, I really didn't like that. That is creepy as fuck. I'm not gonna lie. End of the line, boy! He accidentally pressed his Roblox jump coil at the last second, dude. Definitely a Roblox kid. The chance to redeem yourself will always come. I'll, uh, just, uh, put this, uh, here? The dad who stepped up, man. The dad who stepped up. He's trying so hard. You have, you have to give it to him at the end of the day. And you see, he can't leave to go to the convenience store to buy milk, because he works there. Was that Amaranth bottled parts? Oh my god, there she is! Wow, Sugoi! Kill yourself. 
Pleased to make your acquaintance, Lord Boxman. Holy fuck. What the heck, dude? You have a man. But he doesn't have a woman. Destroying the climate through climate change equals money. A scientific fact from science. Is the climate change episode? Let's fucking go, dude. Ooh, this will surely destroy the plaza. This is awesome. They're gonna start fracking, bro. I really just want to see these two characters frack, like right now. Oh my god, it melted so quickly. Oh my god, they wasted no time. I'm gonna check outside. It feels like I'm watching a fucking, like, Captain Planet episode. No, they need O'Hare Air from the Lorax. They need that short motherfucker to come in. They need the big corporations to come in and save the day. I am Kwame. I am from a hero team that fights pollution. I said it felt like a Captain Planet episode. It is a Captain Planet episode. So it's a Captain Planet crossover? Let's go, dude. There is only one ring left. You will have to share. Oh, man. How are you gonna share a ring? Oh, is it gonna be like a like a Chinese finger trap type shit? They're gonna have to like both touch tips. Has anyone made like a Chinese finger trap before king? I feel like you can just use a normal Chinese finger trap for that sort of thing, bro. Oh, it's Captain Planet! He's so cool. He's like a JoJo's character. What the fuck? Smoking is bad for your health. You jolly green goober! Oh, this is Taylor Swift when she flies her private jet 20 times a day, destroying the ozone layer. And that's Travis Kelsey. It looks just like him, man. Foxman is Travis Kelsey. Why don't we quench our villains first for destruction? <laughs> He was reaching for the hand. Are we sure he was reaching for the hand? He was grabbing the booty. <laughs> Ta -ta. Pollution! <laughs> Don't trust a hoe. Especially a hoe that wants to pollute the entire world. You do your part every day. You can do simple things. Ah! Ah! Get it away. Oh God, oh God. Two crews, both alike in power level. In fair neutral zone where we lay our scene. Oh, so it's a it's a Shakespeare parody. Is Rad gonna date the robot? It's Romeo and Juliet. You look a little under the weather. Let me get you a blanket. Oh my god, flirting. Oh, he gets a bondage from this. She made the first move, let's be honest. She literally turned him into a blunt. That's how bad she was smoking him in that fight. <laughs> Oh my god. It's just like the famous movie Short Circuit. Well, now we know they're going to be together for one episode. And at the end, she's going to short circuit back and go back to how she was before the episode started. They're going to pull my heartstrings just to rip them apart. What's wrong with your robot? What's wrong with your boy? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing changed about him. He's just like, that robot's kind of bad. He's like fucking 17, bro. Like a girl came on to him. Like, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Look, they look scared. They look all traumatized in the background. Why can't you be happy for me? The butt cannon is crazy. I don't even know what the fuck to say to that. She said, why can't you be happy for me and farted her way out of the building? He's crying to the moon. Holy shit, her voice is really good. Like, I feel like there was no setup between these two characters beforehand. This is so sudden. It's so funny. To my surprise, I see that you've been programmed with a soul. <laughs> it's such obviously a different voice. It might be the same person, but it does not sound like Rad. Rad's singing voice is the guy who does Donkey Kong singing voice from the Donkey Kong TV show. I don't know what's happening to me. I did say I wouldn't warn you again. You with you. She has the ant. She has a little ant with the freaking sack meme. She's the ant with the sack. Fine. If that's what you want. Just don't touch him. Oh my goodness. She's gonna reboot to save her lover. This is tragic. No. Oh my god. And then he's gonna reboot himself because she died. I don't think he works like that. <laughs> wallowing in your own misery dude he still has a hand you know what i'm saying oh okay i feel you if we're gonna find out how weird of a guy rat is that's all i'm saying bro <laughs> Stick it, hook of junk. she still loves him no way are you fucking kidding me the lips i dreamt kissed 
We're not as strong as the Robo Fist. He's collecting pieces of her. Okay, he got the arms, he got the head. There's one piece that's missing. What fucked up creature had that in their heart to put on paper? Shakespeare. Does that actually happen? In Romeo and Juliet, one of them pretends to take poison to fake their death, and the other sees that they faked it, thinks they really killed themselves, kills themselves, and then the other one wakes up, sees that they're dead, and then kills themselves. Yo, that Shakespeare guy's on gas, though. Like, what the hell? Yeah. Ah, sorry, sorry. Oh, they're doing TikTok dance. Okay. I keep getting, like, jump scared every time they say sorry. Sorry. He's filming their asses, bro. He's about to get a million views just because he's filming Enid's ass. Don't worry, I'll delete it right now. I'll, I'll delete all of them. There's more than one? What? Are they teaching them a lesson about you shouldn't post embarrassing stuff of your friends on the internet? Is Kale making bank off of their content? I'm gonna be opening and doing a review of this pack of pal cards my mom got me. He's making Pokemon card unboxings, let's go. I used to make Pokemon card fucking opening videos, bro. This is very nostalgic for me. Was he doing Steven Universe episode reviews too? But I enjoyed this episode, that was funny. What's this? I don't know. Good choice of music, though. This is my first AMV, so be nice. What? How did he make an AMV out of footage of their past? How did he get this? He made a shipping AMV. He made a shipping AMV of his coworkers. Let's take this fight to the pool. Cannonball. Dude, this is just a Rick and Morty channel surfing episode, but better. Because it's just like KO's fucking YouTube videos that they're going through. With KO, they're depicting every single kind of YouTube video children make. This is Rat's house? Huh? What? <laughs> That's just creepy. Brad rules. He's so cool because he's older than me. Red rules. Oh, and now they're going to be like, wait a second. KO, these videos are fire. We don't want you to delete them. They're going to run the KO's house and he's going to have deleted them. But because they're my best friends, Rad and Enid. Aww. Aww. Oh my god, it's so wholesome. It feels like a filler video, but it also is like full of so much characterization. My videos are pri a pri privacy vi violation. I can't fucking handle this, it's too cute. You need deep breath, sigh, you have to tear up a little bit. There should be a dog. Where's the dog? Delete account should be at the bottom. Don't delete your videos, you're gonna become a famous YouTuber one day, KO. It's a lucrative career. This is Jack rushing to my house, stopping me from deleting the milk channel. No! Oh my god. Account deleted smiley face. So I've been thinking of starting a new experimental channel. Yes, yes, he's a filmmaker. He's gonna start making like skits. Dude, he's gonna make Smosh videos when he's eight years old. Let's fucking go. Experimental film from KO Rad and Ra Oh my god. Experiment and then Nerntal. Hit her own ketchup. KO! It was you! The shitty audio too. The audio quality getting worse when the camera's far away because they don't have mics. You didn't have to dress up on my account. Gay, oh my God, it's the gay guy. He's back. Is it just me or does he look like twice as Tumblr daddy now? Like, I don't know what he changed about his look, but it's even more Tumblr daddy. Don't you want to hear about my top secret project? We're going to a villain's party tonight on Billiam Milliam's hover yacht. Aw, oh, he wants to flirt. He's like the only character that is serious in the entire show. It's such a contrast. Thinks already my plus one. Boxmore is more than capable of looking after precious little thing tonight. Oh, yes! Why is he going all professional, though? Like, they were lovers, and now he's going professional? Like, how do you lead a man on like that? It's fucked up. He's using Boxman for his body. Like, his box-like body. That's, like, super sexy. <laughs> Good evening, my villains and villainesses. Why are they all like smooth trophy men? Can they have the craziest shoulders of all time and the smallest hands of all time? This is like that one Adventure Time Distant Lands episodes with the Steven Universe character in it. <laughs> Looks like she's having fun. Goon Museum! She went to the Goon Museum. And I'm asking for the address. <laughs> Hit it, hit it. He's so cringe. He can't even hit the doggy, Professor Venomous. What is the point of this episode? Am I just supposed to feel secondhand embarrassment and that's everything that I'm supposed to feel? It's supposed to make you think Boxman is the coolest guy around. 
Oh, they bombed Jeffrey Epstein's island. So this is actually the good guys. Awesome. We're making a new island, an underwater island. They'll never find the children there. Defenses activated. Holy cow. <laughs> Shit. Dude, do you guys think that Boxman's getting invited to the next party or not? Like, be honest. I think he's coming, bro. I think he's coming. Boxman, my boy. Your superpower must be failure. <laughs> <laughs> that was a clever one. That was so clever, you fucking loser. No. Come on. Whoa, my God, he's so sexy. What the fuck? The chiseled chest. The, the muscular arms, the slender body. Like his shirt is ripped in all the right ways. I have something to give you. Oh my God, take your dick. Oh my God, I thought it was about to whip his dick out. I have something to give you, unzip sound effect. <laughs> sure thing. So now they're actually going to work together. Now they're actually like daddy and daddy. And if you guys want to watch more OK KO, get this video. The 12,000 likes. And thank you to our patrons. Thank you for watching the reaction. Aromare. Alzheimer's is a bad disease. We should cure it. Aaron Tateson. Atomic Leon. Bento. Com Luke. Cosmic Dega. Crystal Bunny. Frozen Spaghetti. Gabriel Granados. Gurney Snai Jonathan. Hayden H. Helio. Honor Pearson. Hummus. I pegged Brett Hand. Isaiah Alford. Jace LaRue. K99. King of the Streets. Leaf. Lilac Moon, My Artistry, McBally Attic, Native, Okuma, Patrick Case Randall, Pigeon Witch, Rain, Sam, Tyrion Sills, Union Prince Gov, Val Explicit, Victoria, Weebologist Rick, Yvonne Got Too Bored, Z9R, 